those guys are no longer here, no Kendall Hinton. So now it's Roberson and Donovan Green, and these guys are, are playing well so far. Bill Smith, look at him just carry tacklers for another first down. Big chunk yardage for the Deeks. Christian Beal Smith, he's that type of guy who's going to run up the middle. You know, Kenneth Walker will bounce out a little bit more to the outside. Wake Forest has been so phenomenal in the red zone, not settling for field goals, scoring touchdowns at a 92% rate. Hartman now pocket collapses, and he's going to get brought down. Initially, Terrell Richards was there. Joined by his teammates, big sack for Syracuse. In terms of unity week, uh, in terms of recognition, but watch Terrell Richards, you know, just too long. I, I got to say, the back end coverage. Skiba attempt from 33 yards. Both these kickers are outstanding, and Skiba knocks it straight through the uprights. Wake Forest takes the opening kickoff. Let's the route develop, understands that there's absolutely no pressure on him at all, and completes a good ball downfield for first down. Fake to Walker. Now Hartman's going to keep it. He has room, and he's got a blocker in front of him. Inside the 40, down near the 35 for a first down. Looking first looking and goal for Wake Forest as they continue to dominate this first quarter. Walker crashes into the line and scores. And I was about to uh, say he's looking to get his ninth touchdown on the ground this year, and he just did that. A really good drive by Wake Forest. You see the offensive linemen just creating seams on the poles and Culpepper back to pass on third and 19. Pressure comes, but he avoids it now going to the end zone in the double coverage. Incomplete as both the defender and Queeley had an op opportunity to pull down that football. Trey Rucker from the safety spot though with good coverage. Safe Surratt. Hartman again pressure. Couldn't connect with Morin. And it'll bring up fourth down and short. Timing for Syracuse first and ten. Now they extend this drive. Lutz. Big gain outside the 40. He'll pick up a first down. Uh, but yeah, they're 90th in the country in yards per rush out of 101 teams. Just you haven't had the success, but good to see on this drive up until that play <laughs> some success on the ground. But the uh Keep Johnson now in the backfield with Cole Pepper. Swings out. Cole Pepper flushed. A lot of pressure coming from Wake, and they get him. We'll try it again. You can see Syracuse right now looking to bring pressure. They back out of it. Play for the return. Nice high kick from Mora. Johnson looking to make a man miss and does inside of Wake Forest territory good return all the way down to about the 36 yard line Syracuse is in business he's starting he did a great job Kelsey he's starting right now and he's in the game for Clemson but they've got to make something happen because they are down 21 to 7 right now with the big showdown against Notre Dame coming up balance I mean, he's built like a running back I think that he found his niche and his spot in this offense Fortunately, right there, he found the teeth of this Wake Forest defense. But since then, both defenses have been very stingy in the yards they've been able to give up. Second down and long. Wake bringing pressure on the edge. Means they got a rope receiver, and it's going to be a score. Nakeem Johnson was wide open. Mark, what is it you always tell me? Throw from where the blitz comes from. Exactly right. Find and identify where the pressure is coming from and replace the pressure with the football. Fantastic job. Wake Forest got the play call late. Showing pressure. And the Deeks bring it. They bring five. Culpepper steps up. Nice defensive play by Anderson. He thought he might have been able to get pick number four on the season. But he is looking right over your shoulder to try to complete a pass behind you. Give to Walker. Cuts it back inside beautifully. That's another first down for the Deeks. Give again to Walker. Bounces it. Now cuts it back inside again. Still on his feet. Inside the 10. He'll score. That, that was kind of ridiculous, Chris. I mean, <laughs> I thought for sure he was going to be down. But watch the number of gold helmets that go along for the ride with him. Look, he is never in a situation where he is without blockers at some point on this run. All the way right up until the end zone. If they're not able to convert this or gain a few yards. Pressure on the edge. Hartman's going to get dropped. That'll Huge knock him out of play field by Williams range. off the corner. 
Just has 50 yards and uh, 52 yards rather in that first half and 22 receiving. He's going to lose a few here as Wake Forest does a really nice job of stringing this out to the boundary. Would have been a minimal game, but good job breaking the tackle and creating third and short. Call Pepper bat, batted down by Anderson. Another big play by this former walk-on freshman safety. Down and long for this Wake Forest offense. Hartman stepping up, now pressure coming, flushes him out of the pocket. He gets rid of the football, has a receiver wide open. 40, 30, making a cut to the end zone. Roberson is going to score. Wow. He, he was wide, wide open. Uh, quarterback almost sacked. Right here, great job by Sam Hartman stepping up in the pocket. And it just, it had to have been a blown coverage of some sort. But, you know, picking it up off the ground, scooping it up, catching the ball. And the rest was history. Good job by Sam Hartman escaping the pressure. Uh, not bad, especially because it's not just the guitar that he can play. He can also play the piano. They were actually like waiting to do their COVID test at a hotel. Cotter as he throws a, a interception. interception. This might go for six, Kels, and it will. Just as we talk up Culpepper, true freshman Kalen Carson, well, the other true freshman, Gavin Holmes rather, picks it off and takes it to distance. Went long and Rex threw short. You know, part of this offensive progression is you have to read defenses. And really, as the receiver went long, he was in the flat and looks like he pulled a hamstring on his way out. So in the blink of an eye, Syracuse down 24. Culpepper now going to the running game with success. Hakeem Johnson putting the wide out with all that speed in the backfield, Mark, just trying to get something going, the, a big play, an explosive play, something electric. The drive continues first and 10 from the 35. Beal Smith trying to find an opening, cannot, and then knifing in to make the tackle is the Cobra. The way that, that Wake Forest utilizes it, I think, is really, really dynamic. Walker. Cuts it back inside. Will he get to the end zone? He will. His third rushing touchdown of the day. And Wake Forest now finishes off a long, time-consuming drive by hitting Pater. Oh, Mikel Jones, 6'1", 230 pounds, trying to tackle Kenneth Walker, who's 5'10", 206. Yeah, you got to bring pressure a lot. Run pressures, pass pressures. Just you got to get lost yards, but it's tough against guys like that. Look at the patience, too, with this run from Christian Beal Smith. I do love field hockey, Chris. My mom played field it. hockey in college and coached field hockey at the college level when I was growing up. So a lot of appreciation for the sport. Christian Beal Smith just met and buried in the backfield. Looked like some movement, but no flags right now. And a receiver open in the end zone. That's Morin. It just held up enough for Williams to come back and make the play and prevent more and from bringing down what would have been a huge play. Really a no running back set. You got four wide receivers and a tight end on the field. This is their rush defense. And that's intercepted. Picked off by Trey Rucker. On pretty high. Let's see how the release comes out. He checks his first read, second read. Had to throw it over the hands of Suleiman Kamara and uh, got a little well, more energy for Danielle this. Danielle in Boston, you, you guys will be out to the wee hours of the night as Kern fakes the handoff and he'll take the sack. Give the Lutz, he's got a lot of room midfield and Moore evades a tackler down to the 40. Big run by Lutz as he closes in on 100 yards for the day. Let's go with our starters and we're going to have success and win with that. But this is certainly part of the future of this Syracuse Orange football team here. Morgan out of the pocket, shows his mobility, hits his receiver inside the 10, and that's Johnson all the way down inside the 5. Passing across his body, Sumar. Rolling out to your left, just avoiding the pressure, understands that his pocket's collapsing and throwing it down. Tenth play of this drive that started on the Orange 20-yard line. Morgan throws it into the end zone. It's his tight end for the score, Luke Benson. Morgan's first touchdown pass of his career and Benson's first touchdown catch of the season. Yeah, good job. Just using his height. See that 6'3, 6'4 frame. Just looking right over. And then Wake Forest, as I mentioned, with their fourth win in a row. 
And we'll head back to Winston Salem right now with a lot of momentum with team with some opponents mark on cha on uh, Tobacco Road, most specifically North Carolina coming up next. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.